bugs. You see that erratic light like that? Two right there. Another one. I think you got it. <gasps> Yay! This is actually what sometimes is referred to as a cosmopolitan dragonfly because yeah. it's found on all, it's found on six continents. Yeah. This is, is the that? one I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's loud. Oh. Wow. Oh my okay, God. yeah, it's, a, it's called a wandering glider. Wow. And it's found on uh, six continents, everywhere but Antarctica it's been found. Don't you guys want to... Pull it to where you can see it. You can get that, buddy. Oh, wow, man, look at that. You caught a dragonfly. Okay, you want to hold that? Well, there's a bunch of these, and they're really common. They're really common, and their name is called the common pond hawk. They're so common, it's not triple with that. And this is one of the ones where the, the male, the females and males are really, really different. But I haven't seen any males out here that are colorful yet. Oh, wow. So this, wow, that's pretty pretty. So they're really, really common. Wow. Called the common pond hawk. <clears throat> and the, the <clears throat> confusing thing about this one is that this is a male, even though it looks like a female. So this oh, is the female bright, coloration. Bright color. They're going to turn blue when they when they become sexually mature, oh, wow. when they're ready to find a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend. <laughs> and so they turn blue. Uh, but the females will stay this color here. Got a lot of spines on the legs. This is not that's as prominent as some of them. Yeah. But on the wing when they're flying, they can fly through clouds of gnats or other flying insects. And these spines on their legs, they just catch them. It's like a basket full of spines. And while they're flying, they catch bugs there and can shove them into their mouth while they're, while they're flying. This one here is a male. The female looks just alike. Sometimes we, they, they name them stuff like that in dragonflies. The basket tail or the club tail. It's not really a tail. But, but they call them club tails because normally the, the segments here on the end are expanded like a club. So if you saw the male, it would be a little bit bigger here. And some of them are really big like a club. Right. But yeah, this is a beauty. And I think it's... I think this is Gonfus militaris because they're really common in the summer. Uh, which would be the sulfur club tail, I think. Sulfur tip club tail, maybe. This is a male. Oh wow! So it's like a yeah, it's like a, a dragonfly, but they're they're different. <laughs> they're damn That's nice. the last one that you up. That's a little uh, Katie did or a grasshopper. Well, probably not because they're really fragile and they'll they can be damaged pretty easy. This one's called a fragile forktail, a matter of fact.